Hi, it's Janine. Um, four months post-op now from my jaw surgery, and um, I'm hoping to get my braces off mid-August. That's what we're working on. I have a couple gaps. We're closing up, just doing some final stuff. Everything's going really well. Um, one thing that I did want to touch on on this video was... Um, if you've watched my other videos, I've been wanting to get off the Botox, and this week I canceled um, and rescheduled another month out for my Botox, so that it put me at four months. Um, I've been doing really well, although lately I, I went and got um, an adjustment this week, and um, I, then I started getting more headaches and my right side of my jaw I think something is going on in my neck or something um I maybe I didn't protect my my face enough while I was getting the adjustment so wanted to um touch on that that really protect that area I was kind of laying face down for a little bit um before he was actually adjusting when he was adjusting my lower back um uh and then I put my hands up here and rest my head so my face isn't touching anything um and I just don't know if I didn't protect it enough or if maybe having my arms up in a certain position created that but I'm having some pressure and um, some discomfort and more headaches I've been having almost a migraine last two three days um so I'm going to be going back to him and seeing if um, he can adjust my neck again. So something to be aware of if you are getting um, chiropractic in addition um, to any other care that you're getting. And even I would, I haven't gotten a massage yet, but I would imagine that this has to do with massage too, especially laying face down um, and trying not to do that or making sure nothing is touching um, the lower portion of your face. Sorry, um, camera's moving around a lot. Um, so besides that, oh, and, and next month on my Botox, if I'm feeling really well, then I'm going to push it out another month because my goal is, is to get off of the Botox. I'm not sure at this point. This week after the adjustment, I'm kind of double thinking that position of getting off because I've had so many headaches, but, um, I really think that's because of my neck and not necessarily, um, jaw related, even though I am having some tension in my face and my jaw. Um, but I think it's all caused from the neck. So, um, that's about that that's going on. I, we are going out on the UTV today, um, for Father's Day weekend, and I'm super excited about that. I have gone before and had no problems whatsoever out on the UTV. Um, I do have a pillow that goes behind my head to kind of cushion, um, my neck and, um, but I had no issues with my jaw whatsoever. Um, I'm about a 37, 38 in opening. I think I've even gotten a little bit more than that on a good day. Um, I'm not having any problems eating. The more, the most problem I have is with stuff getting in my braces and, you know, moving my tongue around, trying to get stuff out of the braces, um, which is kind of a pain. My upper palate is still having that kind of numb feeling, although my teeth are very sensitive now, whereas um, I don't think at first they were as sensitive. I don't know if the feeling's coming back or what, but it's um, it's not like fully numb, but it's um, it just kind of feels weird. Um, so that's about, oh, and my teeth are lining up. Um, we did figure out that the, that my right side of my lower lip is was lazy beforehand. So even though it's kind of a little lazier, um, I don't know if that was something prior, uh, maybe an injury, maybe just me, 
or maybe um, having so much Botox because a, a lot of times we did it just in the right side um, maybe it has something to do with that um, damage over the years um, who knows I don't I don't know but uh, as far as that I've got full function I can whistle because that was a concern of mine was that I couldn't whistle but I can whistle uh, one thing if if you're having the surgery and you have the Lafort, the stitches up here, the incision area, I, I massage that a lot and I um, do pinch and kind of move that around, which I really think has helped with the whistling, uh, where I it's kept that looser. Because I know that if I can't whistle or quite can't whistle as well, if I massage that area, I can whistle better. Um, so that was, I know that some people can't even whistle. So that um, might be something if you really want to do. I whistle to my birds all the time. So for me, it was important um, just to be able to, to play with my animals, which my animals are important to me So um, as well. So that's just something that, little thing that I want to do. Um, everything else? seems great doing well um, really happy I did it still happy that I did it um, and I I have eaten steak and um, I haven't eaten anything super hard which uh, you can't really do with the braces anyhow so uh, haven't haven't had any really restrictions of anything that I want to eat that I can't so um, all is going well on that well I hope everybody has a very happy Father's Day bye